shit, people. How's it going? Welcome to a glorious Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, probably a Wednesday. I think it's a Wednesday. Anyway, I want to go home because I want to try something. I saw this great thing on Facebook that looked pretty fun to try. I got both ingredients. You need pancake mix and a rice cooker. I didn't mean to flip you off, but I fucking did. I apologize for that, but you need two things, pancake mixer, rice cooker, and then, you know, you can make these big ass fucking pancakes apparently. So what we're going to do, we're going to go home, let the dog out, hopefully he shits outside, not in the house. We're going to fire up the rice cooker, we're going to make a great big mother friggin' pancake. Let's do this. Alrighty people, I've been home for a little bit. I cleaned up my uh, rice cooker, got it all cleaned out. Now, first step is we need some pancake mix. Where the fuck did I put that? Okay, so basically... Uh, they're saying, I want to make it big. <laughs> so they're like, for six or seven pancakes, which actually turns out to be about, you know, three pancakes. Uh, 175 ml of water, 250 ml of the mix. I put in a cup and a half of water, and I'm going to put in, what did they say for the mix? So one cup, I'm going to put two cups of mix. We're gonna mix it up, we're gonna bake it down, we're gonna make a big fucking pancake, skiddly do. Alrighty, that looks about two cups of the shit. So we pour it in here, and get it fuck everywhere, cause that's what you do. Now I need to mix it up, and then we're good to go. Holy shit, maybe I should have went for the single serving. This is looking awesome. Alright, so let me plug it in like a boss somehow there we go kick around cook put the lid onto it and come back in 45 minutes what time is it <laughs> it is currently 12:23, so we'll come back and take a look when it's not 12:23. so while we're waiting for that we might as well have some story time so I'm sitting at work, minding my own business, and all of a sudden my email account goes off and it says I have a package on route from uh, the local post office. And I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't order anything. What the hell do I got coming to me now? And why did it go to that email address? Like, that's the email address I use for not stupid things. Like, I use it for my, my, my personal, you know? Like, it's not like... The one I use with YouTube or anything like that. This is my personal email address that I don't use for any services at all. So I honestly have no idea why the frig it's getting a email notification that I'm about to receive a package. What's really going on, YouTube? I got you guys on a tripod because I want to rebuild uh, this atomizer. It's not really. It's kind of kind of weak. So, yeah, I have no idea what the frig is coming in the mail. All I know is it's going to be here before the week's over. So that's kind of cool. No idea what it is or what's going on for that matter. One thing I know is I got stuff coming in the mail. I got stuff coming in the mail. What could it be? No idea, but I got stuff coming in the mail. Okay, let's get this caterpillar wire. Oh, deck. I did what I didn't want to do. I let it go. Okay, I want a little bit more than that. Ah, no, that's fine. So, rifle this back through the hole that I made. Yeah, buddy. And then bend it over and chop it off. Some 28 gauge caterpillar wire, as Pug1 calls it. The rest of the world, we just call it canthal. There you go. Nice little strand of 28 gauge canthal. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see what's going to come in the mail. And I'm, I'm really excited. I'm also excited to see if this pancake's going to turn out or if I'm going to have a fucking fire on my hands. So I can't be up here too long. I have to go down there and babysit that. But uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing while I'm torching the wire, this is a great tip for anybody looking to build their own coils. You torch the wire, and it takes all the springy out of it. And then you can wrap it like a pro. Or at least just wrap it. And look, it's not even hot to touch afterwards. Can't wire. It's fucking awesome. All right, we're going to wrap this around a 564th drill bit. Just because I like my coils tight like I like my women. I mean, what? Three... Four. Look at these. Look at these. Look at that. It's not too shabby, eh? It's almost like I know what I'm doing.
we're going to do nine wraps. That should get me above 1.3 ohms. Fuck, I hope so. Grab too much cantipillar wire, chop that off. And then we attach it back onto the device. Like a boss. If it will let me. It's one thing I don't like about this Igo L is the way you trap your wire. You gotta trap it under the screw heads and then you cinch it down. I don't like that style. Every other dripper I have, except for the uh, the K funds that is, but like the um, Patriot, the uh, Helios, you know, the, the Trident, they're all pass the wire through a hole, cinch the screw down to pinch it in place. Not this one. This one's gotta be a pain in my rectum. Okay, so I want, whoa, 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 easy now. I just want this to move over a bit. One point two ohms. Oh shit! Should have put another fucking gurgle into it. This might not fire on this device. It might not get along, especially when I cheat it and fucking pinch it. I think it's the first time I've ever done a coil live on the air. But uh, people ask me to make coil building videos, and I just keep telling them, "Go watch Rip Trippers. Every coil he makes is now the best coil out there." So go watch Rip Trippers. I love that guy. He makes funny videos. I just laugh at it. every time he makes a coil, he's like, Oh, this is the best coil ever! It's an Anal Micro Super Duper Coil! And it's like, bro, why is that one better than the last one you just made? Am I giving it all I can give it? No. No wonder why I wasn't chooching. I was giving it five watts. That's better. If you're wondering what I'm doing right now is I'm just pinching it to get all the hot spots out. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, if it'll focus. But when you activate it, let me turn off the light. That'll make things a little easier. There, now the light's off. You see the coil there? Let me get out of the shot. No, let me get something behind the shot. There we go. And you see how it fires up and it goes from the inside out? That's basically what you want all coils to do. And then, uh, you whip it and you hit it. Gotta love that. Frig yeah, you do. Uh, I wish the light control on this camera was a hardware button. But you can't have everything, right? You can't have everything. What am I hitting for ohms on this now? 1.2. That'll go up once I get some juice onto it. Maybe. Possibly. Fuck, I hope so. Because if not, it won't fire anything lower than 1.2. Like I'm living on the edge. You can't stop this vape from vaping. Horrible song. Apologize for that. Now is the fun part. I'm trying to wick the cotton through that little fucking panush, just to realize you have too much cotton. Yeah, I use the word panush. Don't worry about it. So one thing I'm, I'm not used to yet with these microcoils is how much cotton is too little or too much. Get off me! And apparently, this is the right amount. It's like rebuildables, man. Any of these e-darts that are rebuildable. So much money saved because you don't have to go out and buy new coils. You don't have to go out and buy uh, all sorts of different, like, shit. All you do is go to Walmart, buy some cotton batten, 100% uh, organic, of course, and then grab yourself some, uh, some canthal from eBay. Like, 10 bucks gets you 100 feet. That'll last you a lifetime. And then you're set. Like, I blew through my, like, I've been buying, where are they? Like, these. I've been buying these off of can vape. They're little spools of 10 meters. Or 10 feet or something like that. Yeah, 3 meters, 10 feet or something. I can't remember. Anyway, they're tiny. They're little. And they don't last very long. But it took me about 4 months to get through that one. So that's not too shabby. What the fuck flavor is this? Ew! That's bubblegum. Mm, I like bubblegum. So we're just gonna wick it up. We're gonna drip it down. We're gonna coat this fucker with e-juice. skittle do pretty pissed off, eh? Yeah, that's pretty pissed off. That'll be pretty decent. Pretty good little bite for you right there. Pretty good little bite for you right there. Okay, so we're loaded up. It's all re-wicked. It's not gonna suck anymore. Still getting 1.2 ohms. Let's chooch it. Mm. Oh, <coughs> the taste of a fresh wick and cotton. That's the only thing I don't like about this is you gotta let it work itself in. 
but it hits a fuck ton a lot harder than it did before. I'm gonna bring it down to like 11. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all, people. Let's go look at that pancake, son of a bitch. For some reason, it stopped cooking. I don't know why. It turned itself off. It looks pretty lame. Well, let's see if it'll go again. I'll let it do its thing, and we're going to let him out to go for shit again, because he had a full bowl of food before I left. And now he has no food and he hasn't gone poop. So I'm hoping when I let him outside that he'll go for a big old shit. So go for a big old shit. Just one second, I'm grabbing my vape. I'm coming out with you. Where the fuck did I put that? Right there. Let's see. No, no, no. Stay out. You go poop. You go poop. Oh, it's been a while since I shot a video out here. I ain't smoking a cigarette and be like, Well, guys, uh, I don't know what's going on today and things. Saw a bunch of moths in there. I figured that would piss them off. Sons of bitches. All right, Oreo pooped. I'm happy now. I just really don't like it when he poops in the house, and I don't know why he started doing that. It kind of pisses me off. Almost as much as it pisses you guys off that I vape on camera. Delicious. I have this feeling that it might have got Facebook trolled. I don't think this is going to work because it won't stay on cook. You put it on cook and it comes right off right away. So we're going to leave it on warm for a little bit. What time is it now? It is 12.39. We're going to leave it on warm and just see what happens. Maybe it'll turn out fine. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't at this point. I have a feeling we're going to be taking a road trip to McDonald's for dinner tonight. Okay, well, it's been about 15 minutes since I last checked. It smells like pancakes down here. It smells actually pretty good down here right now. Holy. What's this thing looking like? Still gooey. Still gooey, and it won't turn to cook. Oh, it's turned to cook! Oh my god, it turned to cook! Why now? What did I do? I don't know, people. I don't know. This might be a fail boat. Like I said, we're probably going to McDonald's for, for, for supper tonight. Son of a bitch. Just went and rocked a piss. Thought I would come and check on this thing. Yeah, still cooking. Fuck it, we'll let it go and come back when the time's up. Is that a scampers in the tunnel? Is that a wild scampers in the tunnel? Oh, she's gone. This is why I call her scampers, because she scampers off so fucking fast. Alrighty, my alarm went off. Let's go see if we have success or utter failure. Either way, it'll be awesome. It'll be a learning experience. Next time I won't double up on the batter. So here we go. It looks kind of dicked. It looks really, really dicked. Let's uh, let's stab it with something. Okay, we'll stab it with this knife and see what happens. It's cooked all the way through. Huh. Okay. Um, well, let's get a plate. We'll dump it on a plate and see what happens. Okay, we got kind of a problem. The pancake doesn't want to come out of the pan. I'm going to have to use some desperate measures. And just as I freaking picked up the, uh, put down the camera, this happened. Yup, this happened. We got most of it. So here's a tip for anybody out there trying this out. Uh, your best bet is to do not double the dosage. Go with a single dosage. Because you go too big and it doesn't fucking cook. Son of a bitch. We got a really big ass pancake here. Look at the size of this thing. And it looks cooked all the way through, so fuck yeah. Should be good. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. Probably save it for later, maybe. So I took the bottom out and I put it underneath. What I'm going to do is grab some syrup. I'm just going to lift this top off, squirt some syrup on the bottom, sandwich this back on, and put some syrup on the top. 
and I'm gonna go get fat. So anyway, people, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Like I said, quick tip for anybody making the rice cooker pancake, only do a single dose, don't do a double. It's fucking insane and it doesn't work. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this little rambunctious cooking and building coils video. I didn't know what to make tonight and I wanted to make something along with this cup, the cupcake, this fucking cake. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging. Just dickered.